Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, I want to, to thank uh, Angus to invite me a second time uh, here in the Rapid Fire Talks. And uh, I'm sorry for my bad English uh, and my accent, but I'll try to do my best. This morning, I will uh, like to talk to you about vaccine acceptance in parents in Diape Cote d'Ivoire. In sub-Saharan Africa, about 60% of deaths are due to infectious diseases, and every year, 2.5 million of deaths could be avoided in children aged under five years by immunization. However, despite existence of enhanced program of immunization, children are not enough to immunized, and in Côte d'Ivoire, also called Ivory Coast, between 20 to 40% children are not immunized, mainly in rural area. In Diape Rural Health Center in uh, 2016, immunization coverage was inferior to national objective fixed to um, 95%. So our research question was, what factors could explain weakness of immunization coverage? Our main objective was to identify factors of no or incomplete immunization of children aged from 12 to 23 months in Diape. We made for this a cross-sectional survey which aimed to describe and explain factors of no or incomplete immunization. Our survey took place in Diape's sanitary area composed of three villages um, with um, 413 children aged from 12 to 23 months. In Diape village, there were only three sanitary structures, one rural health center, one private infirmary, and one chemistry. Uh, in Côte d'Ivoire, before 12 months, a child must receive um, 17 vaccines which protect him against uh, 11 diseases like tuberculosis, poliomyelitis, diphtheria, uh, retivirus diarrhea, <laughs> measles, or yellow fever. We include in our survey population mothers or accompanying of children aged from 12 to 23 months and their children. We use a cluster sampling method of World Health Organization composed of 30 clusters of seven children and each cluster consisting in uh, our world. To collect data, uh, we use a questionnaire and all information of children vaccine were obtained with immunization cards. And before interview, we obtain verbal consent of mothers. It's important uh, to know the socio-demographic characteristic of uh, mothers. 70% of mothers were aged uh, from 50 to 30 years old. They were relatively young. 70% of them were married, traditional marriage, and 22% uh, had more than four children. 70% uh, were housewives without a job, and 75% uh, were Christians. 49% at primary educational level, and 32.4% at no educational level. Globally, they have a low level of educational ground. Uh, what about their knowledge of uh, vaccine preventable diseases? Movers knew poliomyelitis, uh, measles, and uh, yellow fever, uh, perhaps because we organized many mass campaigns against these diseases in Côte d'Ivoire. And actually, there is a yellow fever outbreak in Côte d'Ivoire, but generally they don't know over diseases. In our study, um, about 71% of children were totally immunized. That means that they have received all the 17 vaccines of uh, EPI. 100% of movers accept vaccine. In this study, uh, there was no vaccine refusal. So we want to know why 29% of uh, children were not completely immunized. So um, the reason for incomplete immunization uh, were ignorance of vaccine schedule, 
ignorance uh, due to uh, no education, ignorance due to um, insufficiency of sensitization. Uh, the movers wait too long at health center, uh, omission by neglecting, um, no vaccine, lack of time, and lack of money. Even if um, uh, EPI vaccines are free, um, movers lack of money to go to, go to the health center. The last part of the study aimed to identify factors linked to incorporate immunization by univariate analysis. And immunization status was significantly associated with religions of mothers. Indeed, Christian or uh, Muslim mothers have children more immunized that, than others. And that can be explained uh, by the fact that um, religious leaders communicate on immunization, even in church and mosque, uh, to, to change um, uh, people's behaviors. Vaccinal status was significantly associated with numbers of children. Um, proportion of immunized children was higher in mothers with less than uh, four children, mothers with four or more children, lack of time and lack of money to take care properly of their children. Uh, immunization status was significantly associated with high level of knowledge of mothers and also associated with high level of knowledge of immunization schedule. So it's very important to, to sensitize uh, movers on preventable diseases and on immunization schedule. Um, to, to finish, proportion of children completely immunized uh, was higher in movers we talked about good or acceptable quality of reception. Remember that, uh, that um, there is only one health center in uh, DRP villages and only one nurse to do all immunization. So the movers wait uh, too long at health center and sometimes quality of welcoming um, is not very uh, good. In conclusion, 29% um, of children were not completely immunized, but no immunization refu refusal were notified in this study. Uh, after um, the study, uh, we made um, a session of sensitization uh, destined to mothers. It's very important to strengthen maternal awareness raising activities on diseases, immunization schedule, and improve also quality of reception. Um, overall, other surveys are needed to have better knowledge on no or incomplete immunization and on vaccine acceptance. Actually, we implement a um, similar study, study um, qualitative and quantitative uh, study with a bigger sample size and a multivariate analysis, analysis to have better understanding on vaccine acceptance. Je vous remercie pour votre attention. Thank you for your attention.